Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kayla and I'm reporting live from Pangasinan, Philippines. If you don't know, I'm half Filipino and I'm currently visiting my family here for the first time ever. We went back to back to back the first couple of days that I was here. We went to a beach, beach, another beach, resort, town, dinner, all this stuff, carnival. And so today we're just going to Alamino City to go shopping and to go to the gym because I need to get a workout in. I went to another gym that's right here in our town. It was a little bit smaller. It gives me very much old bodybuilding vibes. It's really packed in there. It's really small, but it had good equipment, good music. That's all you really need for a good workout. It's a beautiful day in Bani. It's 81 degrees and I'm not complaining. I'm ready to go lift some weight at the gym and hang out in the city. Drinking my creatine right now some water and watching my own reels you are what you do not what you say you do you are fire let's go So I'm back at home now. It's actually the next day. It's seven o'clock in the morning. I woke up like half an hour ago because we're getting ready to go to the 100 Islands. Yesterday was a pretty chill day. I went to the gym. Before I gone to the gym, we stopped by this motorcycle helmet shop because everyone here, pretty much almost everyone here has a motorcycle, including some of my cousins. Um, and I want to ride one, but you know, safety first. Hopefully I'll ride it in the next day or so. I'm kind of super excited about that. Also, everyone here rides these like little, we call them tricycles. They're like a motorcycle and like a sidecar thing that are kind of this taxi of sorts around here, which is really cool, but they're super slow. So those are also on the road all the time. And then I went to the motorcycle shop, the helmet shop, then I went to the gym. And then I went to this restaurant by the sea. It's called Maxine by the Sea. It was really cool. These two fishermen came up to us and started telling us, I think it was salmon. And we bought some of them because my family loves fish. And then after we ate, we went back home and got some boba tea. I did walk to go get some boba tea because this little milk shop, milk tea shop that I found was really good the first time. And I just got cookies and cream boba with some of my family members. Then afterwards, we did a little bit of cards, a little bit of gambling, cause that's like tradition. I played with my family as well. And then the power went out. And then I came back on. And now it's seven o'clock in the morning and I'm ready to go to the 100 Islands. I just packed a bit of a day bag because we'll be gone the entire day. Got a little bag here. I packed some crackers. I love these little sky flake things. And then some hand sanitizer. Yikes. I packed a little strap for my camera. Um, I don't know how much I'll film, 
And then I packed some toiletry tree bags just with like Tom's and Advil in case I or someone else doesn't feel well while we're away from our town. Some extra clothes. My book. I just started reading this recently. It's very light so far compared to the first one, which is refreshing, obviously. Some disinfecting wipes. And I got my water bottle. I'm actually about to drink my creatine today because I haven't drunk water yet. Some more Dilly J's in my earbuds. Nothing crazy because we're really just there to experience home. This is my first time being in the Philippines, visiting my family here, being in the motherland for the first time in 21 years. And I just want to be able to immerse myself in the experience because it has been surreal, it has been humbling, it has been amazing. And it also has been a little bit like, a whoa, culture shock. I also do want to share that with other people so you guys can see how awesome my country is. So yeah, let's go. So here's me riding my cousin's motorcycle to Alamino City, to the dock where we're gonna get on the boats to go to the islands. It's about a 25 to 30 minute boat ride from the mainland to the islands. As you can see, the views are just gorgeous. The first island we went to, it was Quezon. It was super packed, there were so many people there. We kind of just ate and hung out. Everything was kind of closed, but they had this little Italy, I mean, little Eiffel Tower statue, which was really nice. But like this bridge was closed and the zip lining was closed, but it was still super nice to see all these sightseeings, all the boats there, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's my cousin. Next, we jumped on the boat to Pilgrimage Island, which is the island that has the Jesus statue. It's about 1,400 steps to the top and it was absolutely worth it. It was really nice seeing an entire space dedicated to prayer and faith here. We are walking and there's all these stations that feature Jesus and parts of the Bible everywhere. Like that one. Still walking. I feel like a hiker. We are at the top. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that if you like this content and you want to see more. Bye. I still gotta go down all these steps. Oh, 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 oh,